One, two, three, go! Hello everyone! This is Roch, one of this year's lucky cyberbackers, and this is my journey to an all-expense paid trip to the US with Cyberbacker. My trip to the USA was quite an adventure. We had a layover in Korea before reaching the American soil. It was fun traveling with Ms. Sheila, the president of Cyberbacker, and with other Cyberbackers who were part of this uh, momentous trip. So we stayed there for about four hours. We ate some breakfast. Uh, we had coffee and we toured the Korean um, airport a little bit. And then the flight from Korea to Atlanta, Georgia was uh, 14 hours. It was very long. It was tiring, but I could say that it is worth it. I did a lot of stretching inside the airplane. Um, there's also like um, movies available for you to watch if you're in a long flight. And there are two amazing meals inside the plane. So when we arrived at Atlanta airport, what I noticed was it's totally mask off already in the US. And the, the people are really sweet. The Americans are really welcoming. You know, they are very conversational. You know, great people. And they even have, they even use a term of endearment. They even say, hey baby, what can I get for you? Because we grabbed some snacks at Bob's Burger inside the um, Atlanta airport. So the, the waiter was like, baby, what can I get you? So I find that really interesting it is really um something different from the culture that we have in the philippines also i noticed that atlanta airport is so big we even rode a train uh, inside the airport just to get to our boarding gate to austin texas uh, i could say from from that experience that atlanta airport is quite big and then when we reached Austin, Texas, what I noticed is that um, the weather is it's just, it's totally the same as the weather we have in the Philippines. It was not cold, and it was not too hot as well at that time. So it's totally the same. So we took an Uber from the Austin airport going to the Hotel JW Marriott. So we met Craig, Harmony, we also met Jen and Artuk. I also met Mario, Jared, Katie, and Kayla. The next day was a Sunday. We attended the MAPS coaches training August 21st. So that's actually when I met uh, my client, Mickey, in person. So I've been working with Mickey for almost five years now, and this is the first time I saw him in person. So I know that not a lot of um, cyber hackers have that opportunity to actually meet their clients. So this is really a moment, you know, not just for me, but for cyber hacker. I was really nervous at first meeting him. Um, I remember I was hiding at first because we wanted to capture that moment where, uh, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd actually say hello and hug each other out. So it was just an instant uh, bond between the two of us. We instantly clicked and uh, we hugged each other out. It was like meeting an old friend. So it wasn't until Monday that we, you know, got together again and we grabbed lunch. We ate at the restaurant inside the JW Marriott Austin. It was really nice getting to know more of him. And he, he actually told me that it felt like um, he got to know me more on that two-hour lunch. It was really great. In the afternoon, we had the soiree. It's actually sponsored by Cyberbacker. So um, we attended that and we met a couple of executive MAPS coaches and their coaching clients as well. So it was a good night. I was able to meet also some of the clients of the cyberbackers that I've trained. So that was really interesting. And then um, August 23rd and 24th is the actual mega camp um, event. We stayed at the booth of cyberbacker at the um, Austin Convention Center with the robots. And basically we were promoting a cyberbacker and um, 
if you see the setup wherein we have um, robots and the growth backers are the, actually the ones who are controlling the bots on their own. So it was, it was really um, eye-catching for all the KW agent um, attendees at that moment. So most of them would really walk up to our booth and ask, what is this about? So it was, it was really eye-catching. And so as soon as they walk towards the booth, we would assist them and um, um, tell them more about Cyberbacker and sometimes we would ask them to talk to our growth backers um, that are uh, live on the booth, on the screens of the bots. What I like most about the Mega Camp event was when um, the current Cyberbacker clients would walk up to the booth and would actually say hi to us and introduce themselves and really ask you know what our names are and really get to talk to us really get to know us and, and i was able to of course take selfies with the clients of the cyber backers that i trained so before we just you know saw each other on the trio calls and there's one client who, who even said that her cyber backer is like a, an extension of her family and to be able to hear that you know in person and you know, for clients to say how thankful they are that we have this um, company who's not just about, you know, like work, but we're, we're also, you know, adding value to their business is just an amazing experience, I would say. After the mega camp, we flew to Salt Lake City. The flight was just short, like two hours flight. It was already like late afternoon when we arrived in Ogden so we went to our hotel first get settled um, freshened up um, left our luggage and then we went to the office the hotel was actually just walking distance to the office so I took a, a quick peek of the Ogden cyberbacker office um, it was nice but it was already late and no one was there uh, so Mm, after that, we went out to have dinner. After that, we call it a day. And then August 26th, that was Friday, we reported to the office to work. So it was nice. The Cyberbacker office is is really big. It's, it doesn't actually look like an office office. It's more like a, like a casual workspace. And it was... It has a cool vibe, actually. After work, we went out again to a fine restaurant. So the food was nice, of course. And it's all expense paid trip, so, you know, I didn't have to cash out. We also went to some of the department stores to shop a little bit. So uh, Saturday was the same day that we had to fly back to Manila. So that, that is the whole story. Pretend that you're R2. Give me your best impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second. Give me your best impersonation impersonation of Sheena. Sheena? Do the pose! Do the pose! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, next. Give me your best KD impersonation. <laughs> okay, one more, one more. Give me your best impersonation of Craig. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> it's good you go. Get out of it. How are you? How are you? Is Mario allowed to give his best impersonation of Craig? I can't. You can. You can you love your job. <laughs> Let's cause some mayhem. Good luck to travel back. Hello, this is Raj of Cyberbacker. For more information, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep you updated on the latest stories of our great experience here in Cyberbacker. See ya! Good luck to travel back.